The seas have never been this high. The planet has never been this warm. Distinguished delegates. For two weeks, representatives from nearly 200 countries will hold talks in Egypt on a continent already ravaged by severe drought and food shortages. The annual UN summit is focused on global climate action and how to pay for it. Every COP is a make or break COP. Every COP counts and every COP should move us one step closer or multiple steps closer to that target of halving emissions by 2030. Natural disasters are expensive, costing billions of dollars. Developing countries are some of the hardest hit by climate change, and they rely on assistance during heat waves, droughts, and devastating floods, like what we saw in Pakistan earlier this year. Developing countries are con to continue to invest in the climate action that they need to, to take in the long term and the short term. They need to see those funds flow from the developed countries who have greater historical responsibility for the causes of climate change. Some say these summits are not helpful and take too long to reach decisions that impact billions of people and are only decided by the world's elite. What do we want? When do we want it? On Friday, hundreds of climate activists blocked the departure of private jets at Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport to protest against the pollution caused by the aviation industry. However, some progress has been made. The good news is that the 15 countries have been able to reduce their emissions during the past 15 years. It's mostly European countries, uh, Japan, United States, uh, Singapore, and we have also much better technological means to be successful in climate uh, mitigation. The prices of solar and wind energy have been dropping. Hello! Expectations are high for this climate summit. But after a year of unprecedented natural disasters, action may come too late for some. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.